Okay, guys, we got our new side by side. In an earlier video, I was telling you I said we were we had one ordered. We finally got it today. Yes, I got the door open. I'll show you guys around the inside of it. These seats, I sat in it. They are so comfy. That's the handle for when you're holding on. Glove compartment. There's another glove compartment down here. Yeah, I'll turn the key and I'll show you guys. And look at this. This is cool. And look at that. There's blue light over the cup holders. And it's on our radio station right now. I gotta turn down because can't do that copyright. So now that we got this, we're gonna be doing a lot more videos. Out the boat because where my arm is bad, I can't drive my quad, which is over there. I gotta wait till my arm heals up. Guess we're there. I'll show you guys. I got a little box on the back. Our last one had a big, huge box, so I wasn't. I was kind of iffy about this one, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. It can still hold a cooler and some book bags if you want to go out camping or even just go out for a day trip. All we got left to get, we got to get the back window and the windshield because it doesn't come with that. You got to buy that separately. But this is a really nice rig. And I said I'm going to get a lot more videos made for you guys now. We're going to be going up in the woods. We're going to be going to an abandoned settlement called Sandy Point. We're going to be going to a lot of places. But tomorrow we're both off work. So we're going to go for a ride. And I'll probably film that for you guys, and I'll just add it on to this video. See, so guys, look, there's the cable for USB when you're on the road. I know it's kind of dark here in the garage, even with the lights on. And I forgot to show you. There's a glove compartment. Yes, that's the big speakers. There's another glove compartment here. And yeah. these are all the tags that comes with it. And like some plates laying down there, you gotta put it on. It goes really, really deep. Like my arm can go right to the back. It's really deep glove compartment, so that's lots of extra storage. Plus, you got like a little one right there. And she has tilt steering and everything. It's nice. Like I said, I'm not on here bragging, but I just want to show you guys we had just got this, and now we'll be able to get it, make a lot more videos. And there's my quad. I was thinking when I bought it, they only had green. I'm not fussy for me green. So where I live in this town, um, there's a place that does wrap kits for quads and side-by-sides. So I'm thinking I might get my quad wrapped. But I got to pick out what color I want first. I got to check with them, see what colors they have or what ones I can order. Like I said, I will be using my bike again once my arm heals up. But we got our side by side there right now, and we're gonna start using it tomorrow. We're both off, so like I said, we're gonna go for a ride if it doesn't rain. It calls for rain tomorrow. Look at these shocks, and she's a lot higher up too than our last side by side. With this one, you have to climb up a little. She's really high up, but I like that. It's not low to the ground. door closed okay show you guys this place called Kippen's Bog this is where we stopped for a few minutes for a rest we got nice guys And here is like a big drop off. Yes, this is all I need to do is break my neck. Right now, I'll show you guys. See, 
and there's the front of our side by side. We just got yesterday, so now I'm gonna make a lot more videos in the woods for you guys. We're gonna be going on a lot more trails. This is the road we came in on. It was so rough, it was unreal. But with the side by side, it's not so bad. Because Richie's high up and got big grippy tires, but still, the roads here are atrocious. Okay, guys, this is another stop along the way. We're at a bridge. It's very high up, it's higher up than me, so. <laughs> but, it's starting to rot away, which makes me really nervous because I'm scared dead of heights. Messed the road out that way. And our side by side is parked up there so we don't block the way for anybody to come in. Oh, I don't like heights. I don't like this bridge. Don't like the rotten wood. Look how pretty though, guys. It's slow, yes. But, a lot of times there is trout in that river. Or, I should say, brook. Let me see if I can zoom in and see if you can see anything. I don't see any. This is a beautiful spot, nice and quiet. Our cabin used to be back here. Okay, we're pulled over for another break. We're heading back out, like, towards the main road. That's the sign that's there. A lot of people pulls over. There's a road right there. It's called Camp 38 Road. Going good? And there's a bridge over here. I'm gonna walk down and see. This one's a bit lower, so we'll be able to see if there's any fish. That's why we parked up above, because the bridge is only narrow. It's only one car or one quad or whatever with Yes, you can see a tractor back there. Uh, that's the college. They're up here plowing the roads and plowing the sides, making the roads wider. Let's look, you can see right there. Look at the mud. They're clearing the sides of the road. They're widening the roads. And it's good practice for the college students who are learning heavy equipment. See, this is the bridge. This one's a little bit, looks a little bit sturdier. The water, how clear. side too. Black flies are eating me. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Big beam down there. Okay, right here, we're gonna put a mirror. We're gonna have side mirrors. I just plucked that plastic thing that was there hanging off. My hubby pulled it off for me. So now you can actually see the glove box. And he was saying right here, all these here, is all uh, spots for switches. So when we get um, the light bar and whip lights and everything, it all hooks up here and we can just operate it from here. Which is cool, I didn't know that. I didn't even take a look and notice of that. But this is only our second day having this, so we're gonna fix this all up, add a bunch of accessories, get our windshield and everything. We just took it out for a test drive today. 
That's the roll. We're just sitting back, relaxing there right now. We're having a break. Cooling off. Cooling off. Yeah, it is really hot here today. It's 24 degrees in town. This is, feels like, I think, 26 or 28. But back here in the woods, it is twice as hot. It feels like 30, 32 degrees. Because there's, like, no wind. The trees is blocking all the wind. But I'm not complaining. I love the heat. I'm dreading for fall and winter to come. Look at that, guys. It shows speedometer, temperature of the engine, how many feet we are above sea level, and like we're going set west or west or whatever. And it shows the voltage, headings, everything on it. This is so cool. And look, it's showing like just rear wheels on right now, not the four wheel drive. It's in high. Like I said, there's different screens on this. This is cool. Like our last one didn't have one like this. But I show you guys all the stuff. Hey guys, it's a couple of days later. I forgot to make an ending for my video. The side by side's all clean and polished there now. Uh, I went for a ride and I figured I'd make a video for you guys, so I took bits and pieces from where we were too. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more of my new videos and adventures.